we know that if we have four non-collinear points and if we join them, we get a quadrilateral. Now, if in the case of a quadrilateral, all the four vertices lie on a circle, then such a quadrilateral is called a cyclic quadrilateral. So, a quadrilateral is called a cyclic quadrilateral if all its four vertices lie on a circle. Now, there is a very important theorem related to cyclic quadrilaterals. The theorem states that the sum of either pair of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degrees. So, if we talk about this particular cyclic quadrilateral, then sum of this angle and this angle will be 180 degrees. Similarly, sum of this and this opposite vertices again will be 180 degrees. Now, if we need to prove this, so first of all, what do we have as given? Well, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral that is given to us. All the vertices lie on a circle. Now, we need to prove that angle DAB plus angle DCB is equal to 180 degrees. That is angle DAB and angle DCB. When we add them, we get 180 degrees. Similarly, angle ABC plus angle ADC will also be 180 degrees degrees. So, this angle and this angle will also add up to 180 degrees. So, first of all, we will have to perform a construction to prove it. Construction is join DO and BO. So, we join DO and BO, where O is the center of the circle. Now, first of all, we can say that angle DOB is equal to 2 into angle DAB. Now, what do we state here? That this angle is twice this angle. Why do we say so? Because angle made by an arc at the center is equal to 2 into angle made by the arc at any point on the remaining part of the circle. So here arc DCB makes an angle at the center and same arc DCB also makes an angle at point A. So definitely this angle will be double of this angle. So angle DOB is equal to 2 into angle DAB. Now using the same theorem, again we can say that reflex of angle DOB, that is this angle is equal to 2 into angle DCB, 2 into angle DCB. Now why do I say so? Again, let's see this particular arc. Now this particular arc subtends this angle at the center. And the same arc subtends this angle here on the circle. So definitely this angle will be half of the angle subtended at the center or the angle subtended at the center will be double of this particular angle. So reflex of angle DOB is equal to 2 into angle DCB. Now from this we can say that 2 into angle DAB plus 2 into angle DCB is equal to angle DOB plus reflex of angle DOB, isn't it? What we did is we added this and this. Now this is equal to angle DOB. So we have angle DOB here and 2 into angle DCB is equal to reflex of angle DOB. So we have this here. So definitely this value added to this value will be equal to this value added to this particular value. Now if we consider this angle and this angle both of them together make a complete angle which is 360 
degrees, isn't it? So this angle is a complete angle, 360 degrees. So definitely an angle and its reflex angle will make a complete angle, which is 360 degrees. So we can say that angle DOB plus reflex of angle DOB will be equal to 360 degrees. So we can write 2 into angle DAB plus angle DCB is equal to 360 degrees. Angle around a point is always 360 degrees. So we can say that angle DAB plus angle DCB is equal to 180 degrees. That is 360 degrees by 2. So we have angle DAB plus angle DCB is equal to 180 degrees. So we already have these opposite angles add up to 180 degrees. Similarly, we'll also have angle ABC plus angle ADC equal to 180 degrees. So even these opposite angles add up to 180 degrees. So we were able to prove that the sum of either pair of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degrees. Now, with the help of this particular theorem, can we solve this particular question? We need to find angle ADC. So we need to find this particular angle. Now we have some information given. That is, we have angle BAC which is 35 degrees and we also have angle BCA which is 25 degrees. Now, how do we find angle ADC? First of all, we can say that angle ABC plus angle BCA plus angle CAB is equal to 180 degrees because all these angles here add up to 180 degrees. Angles of a triangle, they always add up to 180 degrees. So we can say that the sum of these three angles will be 180 degrees. Now, if we substitute the values which are given, so we'll have angle ABC plus 25 degrees plus 35 degrees is equal to 180 degrees, which is angle ABC plus 60 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Or if we take 60 degrees on the other side, it's 180 degrees minus 60 degrees, which is 120 degrees degrees. So we found this particular angle here, angle ABC and this is 120 degrees. But we need to find angle ADC, isn't it? Now here a very important point needs to be noticed. We have this quadrilateral ABCD and all the four vertices of this quadrilateral lie on this particular circle. So this is a cyclic quadrilateral and what do we know about cyclic quadrilaterals? That opposite angles add up to 180 degrees always. So angle ABC plus angle ADC will be equal to 180 degrees. So this and this angle will add up to 180 degrees. Now angle ADC will be equal to 180 degrees minus angle ABC which is 120 degrees so minus 120 degrees and that will be 60 degrees so angle ADC is 60 degrees so we were able to find this using the theorem of cyclic quadrilaterals and you can solve many more problems using the same theorem. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all learning resources as per ICSE, CBSE, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace 
with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You also get amazing prizes like PlayStations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.